Hey guys, so we're going to have a look at insertion sorts next. Now, insertion sort, very similar to bubble sort, it almost feels like you're doing it in reverse. Um, so anyway, with insertion sort, uh, we take the sorted index. Now, the sorted index is effectively the rightmost element of my sorted subarray. What on earth does that mean? Well, basically, when we start our insertion sort, we assume that the first item on the left is already sorted. And then one by one, we're going to take these values and put them into the correct place of our sorted array. Or sorted subarray, if you like. So, sorted index is zero. So I then want to take the value at... So the data is going to equal, uh, let's call them numbers for the name of my array. Is going to take the numbers at sorted index plus one. Now, in that case, it's going to equal six. Now, the question I have to ask myself is, is this value less than this value? It is. So, therefore, the data at uh, sorted index plus one becomes equal to the data at sorted index. And then I go down here. Now, if I've got to the end of the array, so if my sorted, oh, sorry, then I'm going to subtract one from sorted index. Now, if I've gone below zero, then I know I've reached the bottom of the array. So in that case, I take the data and I put it into the last place where I was looking. So in this case, six is going to move to here. Now, what I can say is that this part of the array, oops, is that this these first two blocks of the array are now sorted. I might have to get different colors. Ay, 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 ay. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, then I'm going to move my sorted index from the starting one. So it started at zero, so I'm now going to move up to one. The number at sorted index, or the value at sorted index plus one is going to be 21. Is 21 less than 27, uh, less than seven? No, it's not. Therefore, I don't need to do anything. I can just assume that that is already in its sorted position. Again, I add one to the sorted index. Or sorry, I add one to the well, X at this point and copy it into the sorted index. And then I'm going to take the data, which is the number at sorted index plus one, which is four. Is the data four less than the value at sorted index? It is, so we copy across. And then we subtract one from the sorted index. Is the value at sorted index less than the data? Yes, it is, so we copy it into sorted index plus one. Ba, 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 and subtract one from the sorted index. Is the value data at sorted index less than uh, the data? Sorry, is the value at sorted index less than the data? Yes, it is. So then we just copy it across. Now, in this case, again, our, our sorted index has gone to minus one. So therefore, we know we have reached the bottom of the array. And so we need to change this one to be whatever the data is. And that is then sorted. Let's do one more just for a good measure. So our sorted index then jumps back up to three. Our sorted index plus one becomes equal to five. And again, we just repeat that process again. Is five less than 21? Yep, swap. Or not swap, just move. Okay, notice we don't need to swap. That's maybe a bit trickier than the bubble sort. We just need to keep moving it down. It's more efficient that way. Okay, then that changes to two. Is five less than seven? Yep. So just move that up. Change the sorted index to one. Is six less than five? No, it isn't. So therefore, the sorted index plus one becomes equal to the theta. And you'll see here that then this is then moved into the sorted portion of the array. And basically, we keep going until we have gone through all of the numbers minus one because we already started with one that was sorted. Um, so we started from here, 
and we basically just need to keep going till we get to the end. Or do we? Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, no, sorry. We're just doing it for every item, sorry, in the array. Because we're doing sorted index plus one, we're going to do minus the um, array. Minus the length of the array, just as we did with the other sort. Okay, hopefully that helps. I'll do the uh, practical part as a separate video.